I'll do a real quick video just because I don't have a lot of battery left on my phone. I look a mess, I know. Um, been cleaning out pit coops and washing eggs. Hey, buddy. Um, but I want to give show you guys what I'm doing right now and what I'll use when I'm cleaning out kit pens and moving chicks around. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you. I don't have a lot of battery left on my phone and I still want to get some pictures um, while everybody's still kind of together because they are going to be getting moved around, like I said. But let me go ahead. Lit. This is my... <laughs> When they're outside, this is their brooder. Uh, it's an old um, kitty pool. We used it for our dogs when they were younger and they outgrew that or outgrew this. But as you can see, we have kind of a mix of everything. We have a turkey there and the going behind. That one right there is a turkey. Well, Charlie Quinn, well, Charlie Quinn, well, Charlie Quinn, and the two blue Swedish, Havoc and Hera. The Welshes do have names, um, Bodie, Kayak, and Captain Shelley. And then we have nine Cornish cross chicks right here. Um, the two, the two turkeys and the nine Cornish are going to be going into, well, I'll show you. I have a pen, well, a coop right over there that has nine turkeys in it right now four chicks and two ducks and they will be staying in there with them at least for right now um it is only a temporary thing until they get bigger and they get all their feathers and then they will be getting moved over to chicken tractors um everything except for the ducks i think the ducks are going to be um I'm not sure where they're going to go yet, like in between chick and adult stage, but they will be going in there for at least the time being. I'm hoping by the time that I move these turkey or these five ducklings out that the turkeys are out, but I have a feeling that I've raised meat birds before. I have a feeling these meat birds are going to quickly outgrow that and be moved over to the tractor. And then yeah that's the plan anyways <laughs> if it doesn't work it doesn't work but the five ducklings will be staying inside in my brooder and then i have actually four other chicks that i got today with the cornish those will be staying in there cutie sorry getting pictures for the thumbnail um sorry checking to see how much battery that this is used already not a lot but yeah these guys are going to be amazing they're going to be food for a little bit we are getting more meat birds so if you're thinking hey this is a very small amount of meat birds i am aware of that we do not have the space to do more than 10 to 20 at a time they only had nine a day i would have gotten a little bit more or a few more but we really can't do any more 20s like max and 10 we just feel more comfortable with I'd rather do multiple groups of 10 than to over max an area just because but these guys are doing good let me show you okay Bye. mom's leaving to go take something this is not okay this is a clean area. I have put down pelletized bedding around where the water is. The ducks are a little messy. So yeah, it does look a little muddy. I have more pelletized bedding. I'm just going to throw it in here tonight when they're not all down on the bottom because they haven't been really trained to it and I don't want them to eat it. So let me open the thing and show you guys. Little crazies. Okay. Actually, let me just sit down. I know, all running out. Yeah, it is a little muddy back there, but that's fine. That's Frenchie, and that's Margot. I did have a board up against the side. The wind blew it off. We've had really bad wind. Um, but we have four chicks. We have one right there. Um, we have Cuckoo Morans, two of those. And then if I can find them, two more Lavender Orpingtons. And then we have the turkeys, 
These turkeys are doing fantastic. They're almost fully feathered out. So actually they will probably be being moved out first into their um, other pen. Their water, I redid it today, this morning. I'm gonna redo it again because it's gonna be like 80 today. And yeah, they definitely need it. But the ducks are doing great. Um, yeah, Margo is gonna, Margo is the one with the like the white ring around her neck. And then Frenchie's the other one. I think Frenchie's gonna end up being all black, which is, I don't have a lot of video of these guys at all. I think they both might end up being black. Eh, actually I think she's gonna be more of like a Ronin or chocolate, that's what I said. I think she's gonna be a chocolate Margot and I think she's gonna actually gonna be a pure black. Um, but yeah, we're doing. I'm doing progress pictures with them regularly, just trying to keep them. These guys are loving some grass today. What are you doing all puffed up? We did not have this many turkey, a little backstory. Let me put you guys up, okay? Let me put you guys up, let me put you up. They get in front of the door and I don't want to accidentally smush toes. Really quickly on this side of the story, they, last year we only had four. We only did four because we weren't comfortable with doing them. They were something new. My mom was like, hey, we could raise turkeys and I had been asking for a long time. Or for like, I think probably six months we could do turkeys. And she saw them up there when she got the ducks the first time and she was like, whatever, let's go ahead and do it. That worked out really well. Um, I think we might end up having to build one more chicken tractor, which is not a problem. But I've learned some things. Those designs, I like the designs. I, they're gonna be switched though. But this is actually gonna be going up. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of April. This will be going up probably Thursday because I need to post the other one today, which you guys are actually seeing this two days from now weird but yeah that's everything that i'm doing right now these guys are all getting moved the two turkeys corners cross are getting moved to the pen that you guys just saw the one that has other turkeys in it and then probably in about a week no less than a week the frenchie and margo are getting moved maybe not yet they might not be getting moved yet but english today um, my black Cayuga female, she was being overbred, so I do have videos on that. I haven't posted those. I might post them sporadically, but she is going to be going in a separate pen by herself, um, which not by herself. She's going to be in there by herself kind of at first. She won't have another adult duck, but I'm going to put these babies in there, let them all attach to her, and then let them form a little flock, and then they'll all be going in together. Hopefully, when I add that, because I had horrible numbers at the beginning of this year. Let me check the time. Oh, we're good. Um, I had horrible numbers at the beginning of this year. I had four males and four females. Not good numbers at all. Um, but those are being fixed out of the... We have how many? Seven more that we've gotten this year. Only one is a male, so again, incredible numbers that I'm trying to get up to. Um, I keep saying um, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they are doing fantastic. Those chicks are going to be integrated in with the chick or with the chickens when they're older. Uh, I do keep my chickens and my ducks together. It's easier for me to have one area right now when I get a larger space, a larger farm. They, we will be having two separate pens so I can take care of the ducks a little bit more and maybe do ponds, stuff like that. But this is what I'm doing right now. It works for me and I'm, I do raise the turkeys for me. I do raise, raise the Cornish for me. Everybody else is really kind of a permanent, not really permanent because nothing's totally permanent ever. But there are some that I will maybe get rid of. I'm considering getting rid of my two khaki Campbell males. But then again, I'm not. I don't know. But I am going to be putting in eggs from the incubator. And I'll actually show you guys the breeders that I have. The well Charlie Quinns will be breeders. That's the female. That's the male. They're both doing good. Back there is the chicken pen with the ducks in it. 
They're doing good. Uh, I need to redo their water again. I did this just yesterday. Ducks are messy. If you have them, you know. But those are blue Swedish. I'm hoping if we get a silver Swedish female, I am going to keep her. And that's if we get a female out of the group. Everybody else is going to be getting sold as ducklings, going to their forever homes. And that'll probably be the last animal that I raise up this year. Besides... Oh, you need two of them. <laughs> Crap. Um, I'm not keeping two more females, so if it happens like that, I might end up just getting rid of them. But, yeah, that'll probably be the last animal that I raise to keep for the year. Everything else is going to be getting sold or going to freezer camp, which I know a lot of people don't like that, but you have to realize that that's how you run a farm. I know I'm not a full-fledged farm right now, but I'm trying to think in terms where I'm not going to have to switch the way that I'm thinking later on, and I feel like the way that I'm doing it, it works. But yeah, those guys will be going to freezer camp once they get up to weight or age, whatever, whichever one comes first. Um, but yeah, and these guys are going to be going to feed my family and a few other families out here where I'm from. The turkeys are being raised for friends and things like that. So these guys are going to be amazing and yeah. But I, I treat all of them with the love and the care that they deserve. So if you're worried about that, I do treat them all exactly the same. I try to spend as much time as I can with each of them. Yeah, the ones that I'm keeping, I want them to be a little bit more domesticated, uh, tame really, but yeah. Okay, Gladys. She doesn't listen, but thank you guys for watching. This will be going up s Thursday, and then the other video will be going up on today, actually, because today is Tuesday. When you guys are seeing this, this will be Thursday if you're watching the day of. The video that I did before this will be... Ooh, I forget what I did. Uh, duckling swimming. These five ducklings swimming. They are being really loud. Hey, chill will be the five ducklings that I have right here swimming. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys here. Uh, I hope to, you guys come back soon. Um, we will be planting the garden before too long. I'm actually planning on getting dirt this weekend or compost, really, soil. I'll be getting compost this weekend and that will be, once I get the compost, I'm gonna let it cool and probably on Tuesday, I'm gonna try to finish what I need to finish before that. Probably Tuesday or possibly even Wednesday. I'm gonna be planting my My full garden now really um, Everything I have I'm gonna be planting moving around things like that I'm gonna document the whole process so you guys are gonna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it kind of thing um, I'm hoping gonna be trying to get the videos out as soon as possible I've been trying to get the videos out with these chicks, but I've been trying to call around trying to whatever it's been a thing, but thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys here. Hope to see you guys back here again soon. And have a fantastic Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Look forward to that. Um, but yes, y'all have a good one. Bye.